Have you ever wondered why a fancy drink comes with a lemon slice? How about seafood? Well, there's a reason behind it. It's because a fresh cut lemon is releasing limonene to either mask the odor of the alcohol and or fish to add flavor to it. Either way, limonene is the terpene responsible for this. Limonene, actually pronounced le manine, is a monoterpene that is 1-methyl-4-prop-1-N-2-il-cyclohex-1-ene, which, when broken down, we can see methyl being 1 carbon in the first spot on the chain prop ene being 3 carbon with a double bond in the fourth position on the chain, and cyclohex, a circle of 6 carbons with a double bond in the first position on the chain. But I'm not an organic chemist, so that's all I'm going to say on that. Something to note though is that limonene is an extremely lipophilic, which is just a fancy way to say that it dissolves easily in fats. In nature, you find limonene in citrus fruits, mainly their skin. However, it can also be found in plants like red and silver maples and, of course, cannabis. By itself, limonene can produce stress-relieving properties, aid serotonin production, can stifle hunger, and act as an antifungal or bacterial. With the combination of THC or CBD, it increases the effects of other terpenes around it and can decrease the psychoactive effects of THC. With this crude diagram, you can see the blood-brain barrier being the two vertical lines. As the THC or CBD and terpenes are consumed, they travel through the blood to the brain where they are able to pass through the blood-brain barrier. In reality, there are small gaps within the blood-brain barrier where smaller proteins such and materials can pass through. Limonene, being lipophilic, has the potential to move through the blood-brain barrier at a faster rate, as you can see in the red circle one. Limonene is actually seen in two types, which differ with uses and smells, though have similar enough effects. Delta limonene, as seen on the left, is responsible for the citrus fruit smell, while levo limonene, on the right, holds more of an earthy citrus smell, being the group that maples, aspens, and pine trees are in. As limonene oxidates or replaces the methyl group with an oxygen group, creating a terpenoid, usually this happens as cannabis cures. As limonene oxidates, it actually creates three different terpenes, carbon, carbonyl, and limonene oxide. Limonene oxide is actually a terpenoid. And with that being said, that's all the time for today. If you want to know more about terpenes, please see the website in the description. Otherwise, have a great day.